Villain, with God-tier choices, I suppress the protagonist. Chapter 101, Chapter 101 Failing Chapter 101 Failing Not long after, Luo Chen was the only one left standing. After being strengthened by the system, his physical fitness was pretty good. He still had a lot of strength after dealing with the group of thugs. Luo Chen looked around at the outcome of his battle. He picked a rider who looked energetic and lifted his helmet. Under the helmet hid a face that was swollen like a pig's head. Exclamation mark. Tell me, who sent you? Luo Chen asked with a smile. He had just dealt with so many people, but his clothes were not even stained with dust. There was no need to mention being injured. The rider looked as if he had seen a ghost. His eyes widened as he stared at Luo Chen. His lips trembled for a long time, but he could not say a complete sentence. I'm asking you, who asked you to come? Luo Chen grabbed his collar and shook it, thinking that his attitude was pretty good. At the very least, he did not continue to attack and had not forced him to a corner. However, the rider seemed to have seen the most terrifying thing. Before Luo Chen could ask further, he rolled his eyes and fainted. Question mark this is too much, no? Luo Chen's face was full of questions. However, seeing that the rider was about to spit out white foam from fear, he was too embarrassed to continue grabbing him. He threw down the rider onto the ground again and stood up. However, all the riders who met his gaze fainted very quickly. Their expressions did not seem to be fake. You're all so timid, yet you're helping others seek revenge? Is the money you collected even enough for the medical fees? Luo Chen was at a loss. However, things had already developed to this point. Those who should have fainted had fainted, and those who shouldn't have fainted had been beaten so hard that they couldn't stand up. It became a hassle to question them. The only fortunate thing was that these riders had chosen a good place for themselves. There were no surveillance cameras within a 5-kilometer radius. In other words, Luo Chen could simply wipe his hands and leave, and there would be no further trouble. After all, even if these people called the police, the police would not believe that he could deal with so many people alone. As long as he paid attention to avoiding crowded places on the way back, he could completely disappear without anyone noticing. Do I look that scary? Before leaving, Luo Chen still did not give up and turned around to mutter. In fact, if a bystander were present, they would have noticed that the moment Luo Chen attacked, the terrifying aura that erupted from his body was exceptionally powerful. It was a little illusory to describe things like aura, but in fact, everyone had some kind of aura around them. For example, there were some people who, even without doing anything, would exude a certain type of aura that kept people away. And Luo Chen had magnified this similar aura by a hundred or a thousand times. He did not know that with the system's mission rewards and his personal experiences, the current body and the ignorant and incompetent original body were completely different. Under the night sky, there were few pedestrians on the road. Luo Chen returned to the manor safely. In order not to attract too much attention, he still walked to the lively commercial street on his own. After confirming that he was not conspicuous, he hailed a taxi. Those riders would be discovered very quickly. He had to ensure that when this matter was on the news tomorrow, he could completely disassociate himself from it. Luo Chen slept soundly that night, probably because he had been put to a lot of physical labor. Late at night. In a hotel. A furious roar sounded. Lin Tian's face was filled with anger as he smashed a cup into pieces. Lu Xiao, who was also in the room, did not even dare to breathe loudly. He was afraid that if he provoked Lin Tian, he would vent his anger on him. They're all trash. They took so much money from me, but they can't even do the job well. How could a mere Luo Chen overpower dozens of people? How dare they come back and ask me for medical fees after failing so badly? Lin Tian roared repeatedly. The anger in his heart almost drove him crazy. He did not expect Luo Chen to be so difficult to deal with. Originally, he did not plan to let the riders do much to Luo Chen. At most, they would severely injure him and leave him in the hospital for a while. However, those riders could not even complete such a simple mission. Maybe it's because that kid got lucky? Lu Xiao sat timidly on the sofa beside him. He did not even dare to look up when he spoke. In his rage, Lin Tian was indeed exceptionally terrifying. Standing on the side, 
he felt that it was difficult for him to even breathe. He he, what kind of dog sht luck can it be? He doesn't have anyone with him. He was alone. How was he able to deal with so many riders? That group of bastards. They're definitely scamming me of my money. Lin Tian's eyes shone with an unyielding light. No matter what, he had to make Luo Chen pay the price. Early the next morning, Luo Chen was woken up by the ringing of his cell phone. When he saw the notification from the unknown number, he immediately turned over and sat up without thinking. This was his private number. Ordinary people did not know it. Now, only those robbers could call him from an unknown number. In fact, this was also the reason why Luo Chen quickly confirmed that the mastermind was definitely somebody he knew. After all, to be able to subconsciously call his private number meant that they were familiar with each other. Hey! Picking up the phone, Luo Chen cleared his throat to ensure that his voice did not sound as sleepy. He he, you look for someone to investigate me, right? Let me tell you, today is the final deadline. If you can't put the money in the designated place before five in the afternoon, you can just wait to collect her corpse. The kidnapper still spoke in a modified and strange tone, but the emotional changes could still be clearly felt. A mixture of panic and anger could be heard. Don't be agitated. Isn't this normal? If I don't investigate, how can I be sure that you will definitely let her go after receiving the money? Besides, 200 million at the designated location? Do you want cash or card? If it's cash, I reckon it'll need a big car to carry it. Are you sure that this much money can be placed in a place where it won't be easily discovered? Luo Chen said casually. However, only he knew that his palms were already sweating. At the same time, he cursed Yibei 180 times in his heart. What happened to the protagonist Halo? How did they find out that Yibei was investigating them? Yibei wasn't that careless in the original plot. If the kidnapper was angered, it would be very difficult for Zhao Ruo Swang to come back alive. Bullsh T. You're just. You investigated me because you wanted to. Forget it. Why do you care how I receive the money? Bring all the cash. If you bring a single cent less, you can forget about seeing her alive. After a moment of chaos, the kidnapper actually slowly calmed down. As he spoke, he smiled sinisterly. Villain, with God-tier choices, I suppressed the protagonist. Chapter 102 Chapter 102 Final Deadline Chapter 102 Final Deadline 5 p.m.? Luo Chen asked again. Yes, if you're a minute late, you'll see if I dare to really kill her. The kidnapper paused, as if he was listening to someone else. Then, he continued to threaten. All right, I understand. Exclamation mark. Luo Chen agreed and hung up. On the other side, Su Han held his cell phone in disbelief. How dare he hang up on me? I haven't finished talking. Su Han panted heavily. His excessive anger had even caused his face to turn red. At the side, Luo Qianming was waiting anxiously. After all, whether he could make a comeback this time depended on Luo Chen's money. Su Han had already agreed to split half of the money with him. 100 million was enough for him to restart construction and catch up to Luo Chen in a short period of time. Moreover, Luo Chen's problem at the construction site had yet to be completely resolved. It would take a lot of time to arrange everything properly. Well, he might have his own thoughts. This person has always been like this. He's unpredictable. Luo Qianming hesitated for a long time and said uncertainly. Based on his understanding of Luo Chen, his instincts told him that things might not go smoothly. It was really. It went too well, didn't it? Based on the current situation, they didn't have to do anything but wait for Luo Chen to send the money over at 5 in the evening. But would Luo Chen really agree to hand over 200 million yuan so easily? Even with the size of Luo Chen's company, 200 million yuan was enough to hurt his business. After all, it was not a transfer of assets, but real cash. Under such circumstances, it would directly cause his cash flow to be disrupted. The consequences were basically equivalent to declaring bankruptcy. Did Luo Chen have other means to revive the company, or did he not want the money at all? By the way, did you say that someone came to check on us earlier? He didn't catch anything on us, did he? Luo Qianming felt uneasy and asked again. That's impossible. 
I've already discovered his intentions and misled him. Speaking of which, it's strange. I didn't discover it at first. After all, the other party did it very secretly. However, it seems like someone is secretly helping us. It seems exceptionally simple to mislead him to follow the wrong clues. Su Han became excited at the mention of this. When he received the anonymous message, he was really shocked. Because that person nearly found their hiding place. If this news reached Luo Chen's ears, the two of them would be jailed for years. Fortunately, there was that anonymous message. In fact, if Luo Chen knew the inside story, he could clearly tell that the kidnapping did not happen out of thin air. This section was also included in the original plot. It was only because of the chaos in the world that the kidnapping scene and Luo Qianming's power struggle were mixed together. The original plot was that the protagonist group had obtained the help of the mysterious person and completely shattered the villain's plot. He used a fake kidnapping trick to lure the snake out of its hole, causing Luo Chen to suffer a huge loss. At the same time, another part of the plot was that Luo Qianming had used commercial methods to make Luo Chen embarrass himself in several important projects. He then had offended almost all his partners, causing the company to plummet till there was no room for negotiation. The combination of the two important turning points became a new plot that was out of place. However, the same thing had happened in both the two plots. That was, the protagonist group had obtained the help of a mysterious person. To Su Han and Luo Qianming, Lin Qian was the mysterious person. On the other hand, if Zhao Ruo Suang had not been kidnapped, Lin Qian would not have found such a good opportunity to stop Luo Chen's construction work. This time, all the troubles surfaced. Naturally, Luo Chen did not know about this. He only stretched after hanging up the phone and slowly walked to the bathroom to wash up. After everything was settled, he went to the office as usual. All along Luo Chen was only of the mind to cross that bridge when he came to it. Since things had already come to this, it was impossible for it to continue spiraling downwards. There were still eight hours before 5 p.m. If he really couldn't find the hiding place of those kidnappers for the time being, Luo Chen was prepared to temporarily transfer his liquid funds to fill the hole of 200 million. After all, he could not watch helplessly while Zhao Ruoshuang's life hung in the balance. When he arrived at the company, he vaguely felt that the atmosphere was not right. From the moment he walked into the company, the employees' gazes seemed to be a little too persistent as they kept staring at him. They were even discussing softly. However, Luo Chen did not take it to heart. There were too many things to do now. If the employees really had any opinions, he would come back and slowly sort it out after everything was settled. With this thought in mind, Luo Chen returned to his office. However, just as he pushed open the door, he was shocked by the pungent smell of blood. Looking closely, there was a person lying on the sofa. He had already fallen asleep. From the blood on his body and his disheveled appearance, the smell of blood came from him. Yi Bei? Luo Chen spent some effort to see who this person was and immediately exclaimed. Other than the last time, this was the first time he had seen Yi Bei suffer such serious injuries. Wasn't he supposed to be an invincible bodyguard? He was so powerful in the original story. But why was it that when he started working for him, he was so lousy? Ah. You're here. Eleven Yibei had always been vigilant. When he heard Luo Chen's voice, even in his deepest sleep, he immediately woke up and stared at him in a daze. What happened? Luo Chen pulled a chair over and sat a distance away from Yibei. It wasn't that he didn't want to care about this protagonist, but the smell of blood was too unpleasant. He was afraid that he would accidentally vomit on Yibei. I found the news. Yibei let out a long breath and sat up with difficulty. No. Don't move first. The news is secondary. You just recovered not long ago and you're like this again. Are you alright? Luo Chen was indeed a little flustered. If the protagonist died because he helped him, the development of the matter would probably be even more uncontrollable. The fusion of worlds had already caused many anomalies in the plot. There were some things that he could not be sure of. If the entire world was shaken by the death of the protagonist, who knew what would happen? As a transmigrator, the greatest advantage was actually his understanding of the plot. Villain, with God-tier choices, I suppressed the protagonist. Chapter 103, Chapter 103 Price Chapter 103 Price 
It's not my blood. Yi Bei was stunned. He hadn't expected Luo Chen to be genuinely concerned about his physical condition. After all, Yi Bei could tell that the anxiety he had shown just now wasn't fake. Hence, his voice couldn't help but become gentler. Exclamation mark. Ah? Uh? Then how did you? Luo Chen looked like he wanted to say something but hesitated. When he came in and saw Yi Bei lying on the sofa covered in blood, he really thought he was dead. It's not important. Here. I've found the exact locations of those kidnappers, but there are three possible locations. You'll have to visit them one by one. Yi Bei took a deep breath and didn't answer Luo Chen's question. Instead, he took out a crumpled map from his bosom and handed it over. Luo Chen thanked him out of habit and opened the map in confusion. There were three locations marked on it. Two of them were actually not far from his company. They were only five kilometers away, but the other was far in the suburbs. The three locations were marked in detail with the nearby terrain and the corresponding precautions. It was obvious that Yibei had been very serious with this matter. Thank you. Not to mention anything else, he had helped Luo Chen a lot. It was only right for him to thank him. It doesn't matter if he's the main character or not. He's a good person who can be of use to me. It's fine. I'll rest for a while. I'll leave later. Yi Bei pursed his lips and said stiffly, then lay back down. In fact, in order to find the real location, he had not slept for 36 hours in a row. After leaving Lin Tian's place, he had a vague feeling that something was wrong. If Lin Tian had something to do with the kidnapping, he had to prevent the worst outcome in advance. If Luo Chen did not agree to pay the sum, or even if he did, Zhao Ruoswan would still be killed. If things really reached that point, there would be no turning back. He could not watch his brother, who had once fought alongside him, end up like that. Therefore, he used the power that he was most unwilling to use. In order to obtain a chance to make a request, he forced himself to fight a mysterious team for an entire day. This was a secret he had never told anyone. As a mercenary who made the industry tremble in fear, he naturally knew about the existence of some forces that ordinary people did not know about. And what he was looking for was an organization similar to an intelligence agency. The rules of this institution were strange, but everyone who went to them would abide by them. The rules were actually not difficult. If they fought with a the team they raised, the winner would be able to make a request, which they were obliged to fulfill. However, because the team itself was extremely powerful, very few people could pass. Yi Bei had fought against their people before, so he received a token that allowed him to make an additional request. He originally wanted to use this token to help Luo Chen find the girl, but for some reason, the other party said that he could not use it this time. Seeing that there was no other way, Yi Bei forced himself to fight the team with his severely injured body that was about to recover. As expected, after the victory, they provided the map two hours later and guaranteed that the kidnappers would be at one of the three locations. Yi Bei believed in the strength of the intelligence agency, so he went straight to Luo Chen's office at dawn to wait. However, he did not intend to let Luo Chen know how he got the news. He could be considered to have returned the favor. Um. There's a lounge and a bathroom inside. There should also be clothes I bought that haven't been unwrapped. Why don't you go in and rest? Luo Chen hesitated again and again. Looking at Yi Bei's shaky appearance, he couldn't help but speak. There's no need. I'm just returning the favor. If there's a need next time, I'll still kill you without hesitation. Yi Bei opened his eyes a little and said coldly. All the words Luo Chen wanted to say were completely blocked by his words. He had no choice. The other party had already made it clear that he would take his life if there was a chance. Was there a need for him to be friendly? But this was the protagonist's style. This was a different matter. Whether it was kindness or hatred, it was a different matter. If it weren't for the fact that they were on opposing sides, Luo Chen would have quite admired Yi Bei. I'm leaving. Yi Bei also felt that the current atmosphere wasn't quite right. Ever since he found out that Luo Chen was prepared to fork out 200 million yuan to save the girl, he had a vague feeling that he was unwilling to acknowledge. That was, he actually felt that the person in front of him was not too bad? This thought tortured him so much that he almost hated himself. There was clearly blood feud between them. 
how could he forget? Therefore, it was better to just leave first. Take your time then. I owe you a favor now. If there's anything you need my help with, just ask. I definitely won't refuse. Luo Chen hurriedly stood up to send him off. Although his expensive leather sofa had been destroyed by the blood, and it was impossible to wash out the handmade high-end cashmere carpet. It was indeed great news to be able to obtain Zhao Ruo Suang's exact whereabouts. Yi Bei heard Luo Chen's words, but he didn't even look back at him as he walked straight out. Young master, when he came in, he was covered in blood and his eyes were so fierce. He scared many employees. When the secretary saw Yi Bei leave, he quickly sneaked in to chat with Luo Chen. He did it to help me. Luo Chen said meaningfully and unfolded the map in his hand. Get ten. Twenty bodyguards to go out with me. If I'm not back by 4.30, call the police. You have to give them the address for all three districts, understand? Luo Chen sighed and didn't waste any time. He pointed at the locations on the map. When the secretary heard this, his clear eyes revealed a look of disbelief. Then, he nodded seriously. Luo Chen did not delay. After the bodyguards gathered, he immediately led the convoy to the first location. It was already 11 o'clock in the afternoon. If they didn't hurry, if these coordinates were really wrong, or if the robbers sensed something and changed hiding places, they wouldn't have enough time to raise money. This matter was very important. He had to be fully prepared. The first location was a small store that didn't look special. There was only a 60-year-old man looking after the store. The bodyguards went in and out to buy things a few times, but they didn't find anything unusual. Hence, the first location was invalidated. Following the map, he should have gone to the second location next. However, Luo Chen's finger moved and pointed to the suburbs. Villain, with God-tier choices, I suppressed the protagonist. Chapter 104, Chapter 104 Traveling Chapter 104 Traveling Luo Chen's twenty men drove a total of five cars. This way, if anything happened, they could take care of each other. The group of people drove majestically towards the suburbs. Along the way, Luo Chen kept looking out the window. Actually, he didn't know how to describe that sudden feeling, as if he had a premonition. Exclamation mark. Zhao Rua Suang was most likely in the suburbs. Logically speaking, if he was a kidnapper, he wouldn't have hidden in a crowded city. Even if he wanted to do the opposite, he had to consider Zhao Rua Suang's reputation. As long as anyone saw Zhao Rua Suang's description, this so-called kidnapping would be over. Therefore, hiding in the suburbs was the best choice. There were fewer people, so there was a higher chance that no one would see them. Secondly, it would be more convenient for them to escape in the suburbs. They would not be trapped in Jiang City by Luo Chen. It's too dangerous? After figuring this out, Luo Chen muttered. Boss, what did you say? The bodyguard sitting in the front passenger seat heard Luo Chen's words and quickly turned around to ask. It's nothing. Pay attention to your surroundings. I'm worried that there will be people keeping an eye on us along the way. Also, when we're two streets away from the target, tell them to not drive in together. Otherwise, the target will be too big and will be easily discovered. If either side discovers anything unusual, don't act rashly. You must inform me. Luo Chen said methodically without any panic on his face. He didn't know how to describe his current situation. Zhao Rua Suang had clearly been kidnapped, and what they were doing now could be said to be putting themselves in danger. However, Luo Chen was not nervous at all. Instead, he was slightly excited. It was probably because his physical fitness had been improved by the system, so it was obviously different. No problem, boss. The bodyguard in the front passenger seat nodded and looked at Luo Chen with admiration. In the past, they also thought that their boss was just a profligate son who was wasting his life away. For a long time, Luo Chen's performance was indeed like this. He was almost completely abandoned by his family. But now, it was as if he had become a different person. He was completely different from before. The bodyguards exchanged glances. They all understood how important this mission was, so they became more vigilant. As they approached the suburbs, a few cars tacitly separated and did not drive onto the same main road. Thanks to the development of Jiang City in recent years, the suburbs have also been developed. 
It was in the afternoon, and there were more or less some passing cars on the road. Their black cars were mixed in and were not very conspicuous. If he had come at a quiet time, he would have been discovered before he reached his destination. In the abandoned warehouse. Su Han and Luo Qianming sat side by side in a cubicle in the warehouse. Both of their expressions didn't look too good. Is it my imagination? I keep feeling that the hair on the back of my neck is rising. Luo Qianming could not sit still and kept circling the room. Through the window, they could see that Zhao Ruo Suang was still tied to the chair safely with her head lowered. No one knew what she was thinking. In fact, other than the first day when Zhao Ruo Suang could not believe her situation and kept struggling, she was so quiet that Luo Qianming sometimes forgot that she was kidnapped. Moreover, in order to ensure that Zhao Ruo Suang's body would not really be harmed, they even gave Zhao Ruo Suang a separate room to move around freely. However, it was time to negotiate with Luo Chen today, so they continued to tie her up. Humph, what could happen? No matter how capable Luo Chen is, it's impossible for him to find this place in a short period of time. When we get the money, we don't even have to make an appearance. We can just let Zhao Ruo Suang go back. With such a huge incident, Luo Chen will definitely not call the police. Otherwise, the entire company's reputation will be ruined. There's no oversight. What are you worried about? The last half of Su Han's sentence was clearly filled with emotion. Luo Qianming wasn't the only one who felt uneasy. Su Han's heart was thumping as well, as if something bad was about to happen. However, after carefully recalling the process of their kidnapping, it could be considered that there was no negligence. No matter how capable Luo Chen was, it was impossible for him to reach this place. So what was there to worry about? Creek. At this moment, the door of the warehouse was pushed open and two burly men walked in. There's nothing unusual outside, right? Su Han asked indifferently. No, no suspicious people approached at a glance. Boss, this place you found is the best. It's secluded enough to see the surroundings. The man said as he sucked up to his boss. Su Han smiled and didn't comment. On the other side, Luo Chen's convoy was approaching the location marked on the map. The closer they got, the more cars there were on the road. Boss, the white car in front has passed by our car for the third time. Is it here to keep an eye on us? The bodyguard noticed the abnormality and quickly said. Hearing this, Luo Chen narrowed his eyes and glanced at the car that whistled past again. After a moment of hesitation, he slowly shook his head. Ignore him. Just follow our route. No matter how capable Su Han is, he won't be able to monitor the entire area. Luo Chen didn't pay much attention to the car. Instead, he leaned back in his chair and closed his eyes to rest. He didn't care about anything else. Even if the emperor came today, he had to save Zhao Ruo Suang safely. Thud. At this moment, the car that Luo Chen was sitting in suddenly trembled. Boss. We've been rear-ended. The chauffeur jumped in fright. He hurriedly gripped the steering wheel and tried his best to maintain the stability of the car. Although they were not driving very fast, the car behind them came too suddenly. Once it flipped sideways, the consequences would be unimaginable. Go down and take a look. Don't make a commotion. Luo Chen looked back. The car that hit them was a new car that had yet to be registered. The female driver had already gotten out of the car and was looking around nervously. From the looks of it, she didn't seem to have been sent to keep an eye on them. After all, it was very difficult to put on such a show. The chauffeur agreed and got out of the car. The car was well sealed, so Luo Chen could only see the chauffeur talking to the female driver. The female chauffeur looked like she was begging for forgiveness. That watery gaze would make any man's heart ache. Villain, with God-tier choices, I suppressed the protagonist. Chapter 105, Chapter 105, It's Too Late. Chapter 105, It's Too Late. Thank you readers. Translator, Henny Translations, Editor, Henny Translations. Forget it, forget it. You didn't do it on purpose. Hurry up and leave. The chauffeur saw that the car was not seriously damaged, mainly because he had more important things to do today. He did not probe further and only waved his hand impatiently. Really? Big brother. Thank you. Can you give me your contact number? When you have time, I'll treat you to a meal as a thank you. 
The female driver's eyes lit up as she hugged the chauffeur's arm and shook it. The softness of her chest was tightly pressed against the chauffeur's arm. She even deliberately raised her face to look up at the chauffeur. There's no need for that. I still have something on, so I'll leave first. The chauffeur felt uncomfortable at the thought of all his colleagues and Luo Chen looking at him. After forcing out a sentence, he crawled back into the car as if he was escaping. The female driver followed behind and thanked him profusely. If not for the fact that the car door was closed quickly, she might have gotten into the car herself. You're quite lucky with women. Luo Chen joked. Boss. Don't tease me. The chauffeur smiled bitterly and started the car again. After all, this car wasn't his. It was a company car, and it wasn't expensive. The female driver had braked in time, leaving only a small mark. There was no need to continue pestering her. Even now, the female driver did not leave. She watched from the back as Luo Chen's car drove away. After turning a corner, Luo Chen suddenly sneered. All right, get the other cars together. The other party has already discovered us. We have to save President Zhao before they move the hostage. Luo Chen tapped on the car window with one finger and said thoughtfully. It was as if he was confirming his guess. Almost at the same time that Luo Chen's car disappeared from sight, the female driver's expression instantly became cold and heartless. Then, she took out her phone. The call went through quickly. What are you all doing? You didn't even notice when he went over. Quickly inform the boss to leave. The female driver scolded the person on the other end of the phone. After hanging up the phone, she immediately got into the car. She turned around to face the traffic and sped towards the warehouse. This time, the way she drove didn't look like a newbie driver at all. From the moment Luo Chen saw the female driver, he subconsciously sat up straight. Other things were not important. What he was worried about was that if he did not make it in time and let the other party take Zhao Ruoswang away, it would be a big problem. It might even be related to the original plot. Lin Tian would take this opportunity to save the damsel in distress. When the time came, the two of them would have feelings for each other and Lin Tian would continue to fulfill the path of the harem. Just the thought of it was terrifying. Drive faster. Anticipating this possibility, Luo Chen patted the back of the driver's seat and urged. The car sped along the road. The other cars had already received the news and were converging. They were still about a quarter of an hour away from the coordinates on the map. Logically speaking, there was still time. Finally, the factory appeared in Luo Chen's line of sight. He could vaguely see figures moving outside the door. There were probably no less than 20 people in charge of guarding outside. Luo Chen bit his lip thinking that he might have brought too few people with him. After all, if it was possible, he really did not want to do it himself. How tiring. That's it. Stop over there. Whoever dares to stop us, just run them over. If they die, it's on me. Seeing that the enemy guards had also noticed the approaching convoy, Luo Chen made a prompt decision. The chauffeur nodded and stepped on the accelerator without thinking. In any case, Luo Chen had already said so. In addition, the president of their company had been kidnapped under the noses of the bodyguards, making them all furious. They had long wanted to find a channel to vent their anger. Who's there? This is a private place. You're not allowed to enter. Fuck. Get out of the way. They really are trying to knock us down. F King B starred. Do you want to die? Initially, when the guards noticed an unfamiliar car approaching, they were still shouting arrogantly. However, when they saw that the car was about to reach them and still had no intention of slowing down, they immediately panicked. Although the order they received was that no one was allowed to enter at will, money was just a worldly possession while their lives were solely theirs. They would really die if they were run over by a car. Therefore there was no resistance at all. When the guards outside realized that the five cars were charging at them, they were all afraid that they wouldn't be able to run fast enough. Boss. Run. Someone's coming. The last guard roared as he jumped onto the nearby grass patch. At least he had some conscience. As he ran for his life, he didn't forget about Su Han and the others in the warehouse. The empty area was much quieter than the city. The guard roared at the top of his lungs and rushed into the house without any obstruction. 
Su Han had been discussing with Luo Chanming on how to carry out the project after he received the money. When he heard this shout, he immediately panicked. Didn't you say that this place is very hidden and we definitely won't be found? Luo Qianming grabbed Su Han's collar and shouted in a frenzied manner. How would I know? How could that kid find this place? Let go of me. It might be a misunderstanding. Su Han struggled with all his might and looked at Luo Qianming with eyes filled with disgust. If he had known that Luo Qianming was incompetent, he would not have cooperated with him. Before they could even see Luo Chen's shadow, they had already lost their footing. How could it be a misunderstanding? Where did you mislead him to? He's clearly about to succeed. How did he find us? Luo Qianming repeated in vain, his eyes red with anger. Although it was still unclear who had come, Luo Qianming had a faint premonition that other than Luo Chen, there was no other person. If Luo Chen caught Luo Qianming red-handed and told Luo Junhua, there would no longer be a place for him in the Luo family. What's the use of telling me this? Who cares who it is? Run! Su Han was so angry that he shook off Luo Qianming's hand. There's no one within a five-kilometer radius of this place, and it's so empty. Where do you think we can run to? Besides, who knows if that kid has a backup plan? Aren't you playing into his hands by running out like this? Luo Qianming was already in a daze. When he thought of what would happen if he was discovered, he felt a chill run down his spine. There are two more cars outside. I deliberately parked them behind the warehouse. We should just take those cars and run. They only want to save the hostage, so they definitely won't catch us. Su Han took a deep breath, suppressed his disgust, and said word by word.